Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Tom's Tube Chan. I just want to go over a few things with you. I'll show you what I've been up to. I know I haven't done many videos lately. It's just the weather, life, everything else getting in the way. I'm not one to take my cars out in the horrible weather because it means cleaning them and I don't really like doing that. I'll show you what I've been doing to my motorcycle um, and I'll just go over my cars a bit with you as well. Plans for them in the future. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and click on the links below and support my channel. So guys, the first thing I wanted to show you is just the where I've got to with the LRP S8 conversion. I haven't got very far, I'm afraid. I brought um, a motor mount, a universal one, that I thought would fit fine. It didn't fit fine. Um, so I'm probably going to buy the same motor mount that I have got for my Tamiya TNX, uh, which you saw in other videos. Um, so hopefully I'll get something on with that soon. Uh, this is the current state of it. Not much has changed really. So, yeah, that's the car there. Okay, so obviously we've got our other cars up here. The first one being my son's carnage. That's in a few bits and pieces at the moment. We're just basically swapping out the motor. I haven't got round to chain putting it in properly just yet. Hopefully soon. Then we've got our mad balls. Great little cars these. You've seen them buzzing around my garden. My daughter's one with the crazy paint job. And my son's one just with a standard decals. He has got the oil field shocks on this, which does help. Moving along, we've got the Midnight Pumpkin. A little bit bad and bruised, but does a good job. And of course the lunchbox, which you've seen in some videos as well. Again, not much has changed on that front. And then of course we've got my trusty TNX, which we did the motor mount on. Again, I haven't used it much since I've done that yet. Hopefully we'll do soon. So that's to do with the RC cars. You can see I haven't done very much. And apologies, I just have not had the time as I explained before. I'll show you what I've been up to with my motorcycle which has been taking up quite a lot of time lately. Hi guys, here I am, crouched down with my GSX 1400. Uh, just before I was due for an MOT, I thought I'd better check it over and make sure, like I do every year. Again, the bike is used throughout the year. It's an all-weather bike. It's not put away and treated with kid gloves. Um, it is abused. I do maintain it, but it does get a lot of use in rubbish weather. Uh, I noticed when I was doing the MOT check that the rear swinging arm is a bit rocky from left to right. So it looks like the bearings. So I've stripped the entire back end down. I've taken everything off. I'm going to give it a good clean uh, and also hopefully change the bearings. I'm just waiting for some 28mm sockets to come so I can take the swing arm bolt out and go from there basically. So this is what's been taking up quite a lot of my time is the motorbike lately. There's a couple of other bits and pieces that I'm doing on it which I'll show up a bit more closer now. The main part obviously is the swing arm. You can see how filthy my bike is. You can't, I don't know if you can really see it. You can hear it, there's quite a lot of movement left to right on that swing arm. So to get the swing arm out, there's two 28 mil bolts either side that I will just need to remove and pull through and then hopefully it'll be quite easy to change the bearings over and hopefully it's just the bearings and nothing else more sinister. The other issue I've had with the bike it's a bit of a weak spot on these let's get some light on this is the slave cylinder on the clutch 
which you can see has been weeping quite a lot. Ignore the grease around it. There's a lot of uh, clutch fluid leaking out of that. So I am in the process of ordering a repair kit to get that done. And the other thing, as the bike's off the road, I have no saddle. I've sent it off to be recovered. It was all split uh, and was in desperate need to be recovered. So hopefully I'll have a nice new saddle to show you all soon or in a few weeks. So there she is looking sorry for herself at the moment. And that's my steed at the moment. <laughs> Pedal power to get to work. So these are all the bits and pieces that have come off my motorbike. They all need a good scrub. That's the axle. And the back wheel. So the plan is to give them a good scrub. Some of the bolts that I took out are completely and utterly threaded and old. So they'll be replaced as well. New pads required for the rear caliper and the rear shocks are perfectly good working order but they just need a good clean up thanks for watching guys appreciate that I haven't done a lot lately this is just an update of what's been going on in my life with the bike and the RC cars I know there's not much going on with the RC cars but I will do my best to get some videos of at least the TNX ripping it up with the new motor mount and a new motor. It's just the weather's really bad. Uh, I don't want to get my hands dirty like I explained before. Anyway, it is freezing down here in Somerset. I am going to go in and put the kettle on and get warmed up. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Carry on watching.